Hello everyone, Steve here. Well, welcome to another video. This might be just a quick video today. We're just out camping and uh, we're in a great little spot. I'm going to do a video on this place. It's a new hip camp. We're the first ones to ever stay here and uh, I'll be doing a walk around it. It's at Kingaroy and it's about uh, 15 minutes out of Kingaroy. Uh, it's a great little spot. I'll just quickly pan around and show you where we are just so that I'm not looking at me all the time and uh, so you can see where we are. So there's a beautiful dam over here. There's about five dams on the property. Uh, he's made a little camp spot here. Got a little fire pit over there. And uh, we've got old Harry set over in the back here. Dogs have already been for a swim in the dam. And uh, he's got uh, another campsite up on top of the hill there. But he is going to be putting more in. He's a great bloke. He's, he's actually a farmer that comes into Woolies. And uh, we give him our food scraps and bread and stuff like that to feed his animals. But... Uh, I've been talking to him for a few years and asking him to um, set up a hip camp on his property, not only so we can come down here, so that other people can enjoy it too. So we're out here, I'll do a video on this place, but uh, what I thought I would show you, testing a few products out this weekend, I actually bought myself a um, Starlink Mini. Yes, I... To, to be honest with you guys, I got the email the other day and uh, from Starlink and it was saying how they were dropping the plan where that you could just stow your Starlink and uh, have it uh, stowed so that you didn't have to pay any money unless you were using it and they put a price on it of $8.50 now. I started that up because I didn't want to lose my subscription. We actually haven't used Starlink since... Uh, October 2024 and it's now the um, nearly the end of August and uh, we don't use it a lot but uh, I turned it on and um, I was actually quite impressed by the um, download speed that you could get it's only um, it's capped uh, I can't remember what it is I think it's only like uh, 500 megabytes or something like that um, but it's enough to receive, send texts, light browsing, depending on how many uh, phones and devices you've got connected. So be mindful if you connect multiple devices, the speed is really going to slow down. But if you've only got a couple of devices um, or one device, it may come in handy as emergency because it's unlimited downloads. And uh, so for $8.50, I think that's pretty good because we go away every couple of weeks and quite often we don't really want to be surfing the net but it's great to be able to just have a little bit of internet uh, stuff just to um, you know check your messages maybe send off a text message to me father things like that and do a bit of light browsing so I'm going to keep that plan now it is quite good I actually have got this one on a $80 plan for a month but I have cancelled it and put it back to the $8.50 because when you buy a new one you've got to connect to a plan so I had to relent and do that but I'll tell you what I'm pretty impressed with the little Starlink Mini myself uh, I've got it hooked up inside that's what I'm this video is basically about today um, just want to show you how we're running it and how we've set it up we went for a walk uh, up on the hillside there and we walked way up on the hill there, basically to those gum trees, which I don't know, how far is that any? About 500 meters, about 500 meters. And I was still getting um, connection to my Starlink. It was like two bars, but it was still picking up the Wi-Fi connection to that Starlink up there. So I am really impressed with that. One of the things that sort of stopped me from buying this was I was a bit concerned about the um, download and upload speed but it's been absolutely great I did a video earlier stuck it up on Facebook just to stir old Buck Mr Buckaroonie but uh, yeah really happy with that so let's uh, get into what my video is about so I'm running my Starlink let's go in the caravan I'll start there first because uh, you need to know what I'm talking about I don't know what I'm talking about half the time but uh, we'll go in here so I've got my Starlink hooked into our all powers. Now 
I forget how many watt hours this is. I'll put it up on the screen. I just can't remember offhand, guys. It's been that long since I've actually read all the uh, specs and that on this. But it was 100% when I started. We turned this on at 9.30 this morning when we got here. And uh, it's just on one o'clock now. And it was 100% because I charged it at home and it was down to 87%. So in three hours, it had used bugger all power. It's nowhere near as thirsty, the new Starlink, as the old one, as in power consumption. I think it was about 23 watts. So you can work that out, how much it's using. I am charging a couple other things. But what I wanted to do, we want to keep the Starlink running for later on. And obviously when the sun goes down, we've got no mains power here. I wanted to charge this up. Now I've got all my solar panels running outside on the car, keeping the car 230 amp hour lead time battery charged up. And uh, so it's got solar running into it. I have got solar in the van, but I've got no 240 volt. But I have now, because what and I I've got 240 hooked up to the van. So this is putting in 352 watts. It was putting about 94 amps out of my car battery there a minute ago. So let's go back outside. So I've got 240 charging this up. The reason I'm doing that, it's up to 93%. I want to have this fully charged for tonight when we uh, get darker and we don't have any. Uh, sun to keep us charged up so there's my cord there plugged into the van running over here there's my solar panels i've got two panels here 100 watt one there believe it or not they reckon that one's 400 watts i think it's about 100 watts i've got those plugged into the car so my car battery was at a hundred percent when uh, i turned this on there's my lead time battery there so i've got my little power box here got it plugged into my 240 and uh, I'm running 240 from the car, running it to the van and uh, keeping my battery charged. And uh, well, I might even uh, see whether I can uh, fire the aircon up and see whether it'll run that later on. But I don't think it will because I've only got a 2000 watt inverter. I'm pretty sure those aircons up there peak over 2000 watts. So it would probably shut the inverter down. So I'm not going to do it at the moment because I don't want to, um, I don't know how to reset it or whatever. I'm going to look into it a bit more before I do that. But just a simple hack. I've spoke about this before. If I needed to run 240 from the car, that was one of the reasons that I put this system in the car so that I got plenty of battery power, 230 amp hours in the car and I can run an extension cord like this, plug it into the van and uh, either charge up my battery in the van if I need to because the van battery was fully charged but because I've hooked the 240 into it the um, DC to DC charger in the van also charges up the battery through the mains power. It still uses the solar so everything should be fully charged in the van by the time the sun goes down this afternoon and if the car battery is down a little bit, like even if that got down to 60% or something like that, I've still got plenty of power just to run my fridge. Tomorrow I'll um, have the solar panels out, charge it back up again, and I can also start the car and put 50 amps back into the car as well if I really need to charge up the battery a little bit quicker in the car. So that's it guys, short and sweet. Um, I just thought I'd explain to you what I was doing. Took the opportunity just to um, show you another possibility with a good 12 volt setup so that you can um, sort of keep all your glamping gear <laughs> updated. But uh, we're going to cook up a roast tonight. Hopefully the wind drops down. I've got a plan B. I've got the uh, camp cube over there. Now you might see on the ground there, if you're really uh, smart and see a couple of products lying on the ground there, I'm going to do a video on those as well. There are some new products I've been sent out by a company and I'll tell you what, bloody amazing. Uh, can't wait to show you. But uh, if the Camp Cube idea doesn't work because it is quite dry out here at the moment and it's not dry because 
it's in a drought or anything, it's dry because of the frost we've been having out here. We have had so many frosts this winter, it has been absolutely freezing and it's killed all the grass off. But uh, if it's too windy, because it's blowing a little bit at the moment, but uh, we want to um, we want to get the fire going and cook over the fire rather than cooking over gas or anything like that. But if we do have to revert to plan B, we've got our cob cooker. I've got a video about the cob, a couple of them now. So if we have to, we'll cook it in this because this thing here is brilliant. It is not affected by wind or anything and it's absolutely great. Jasper's all worn out. He's sunning himself in the sun there. Winnie's over here sleeping on a bed and uh, they've been running around in the dam over my shoulder there. But uh, like I said, guys, I will do a video on this amazing property just outside of Kingaroy. It's on Hip Camp. Uh, I think it's about $36 for a couple, which is pretty reasonable, guys, when you consider that's only you know, a bit over $15 each and 18 bucks each, and that includes firewood. Brett said, whatever you want to take, like see all the wood lying around here, all the wood over there, that includes whatever firewood you can find on the property, you can chop up and uh, use it in the fire. So there's a saving there, guys. I bought a bag of firewood because I didn't know that. 18 bucks for a 20 kilo bag. So if I wouldn't have bought the firewood, use it to pay for your hip camp and uh, you can burn as much firewood here as you want while you're out here included in your price. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, what is it? Rock view, isn't it? Rock Hill, I think the name. It's so new, I can't remember the thing. I'll put a photo of the property, the name of it, up on the screen there off the Hip Camp site. But uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you on the next one. Say bye, Annie. Bye, Annie. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting her to say something, guys. She's uh, coming around. Uh, so keep up the comments if you want to see Annie on some more videos. Yes, you do. Comment down below. They want to see you, Annie. They do. They do. They want to see you too as well. Okay. Bye, guys. See yous.